So you bought a shiny new phone, and a few months later you realize it isn't as fast as it used to be. We've all been there, and the issue isn't limited to budget phones either. Devices like the Galaxy S8 are also prone to the occasional slowdown after several months of usage. Thankfully, you are going to discover the top 10 things to make to speed up your Android phone. Follow the guide. Google's File Management app is great. It not only analyzes your phone for unused files and apps, but also lets you easily transfer files. The app has a minimalist design with two tabs, Storage and Files. From the Storage tab, you get an overview of the amount of storage you have left on your phone, as well as tips on how to free up space. You'll also be able to easily clear apps cached data from within Files Go. It does a great job when it comes to finding unnecessary files on your phone, which is very useful if you're using a phone with 16GB or even 8GB of internal storage. The app is particularly useful if you've ever used Lenovo's ShareIt to transfer content to another device. Most phones aside from the Pixels and Android One devices come with some form of bloatware. Thankfully, you can disable, or in some cases uninstall, most of the apps that come pre-installed on your phone if you are not going to use them. Just go to Settings then Apps to see all the apps installed on your phone. When you find an app that you don't recognize, uninstall or disable it. You can also use Files Go to identify unused apps on your phone, and delete them as needed. If you're using a phone with limited memory and storage, using a poorly optimized app can cause a lot of frustrations. Facebook is the perfect example, as the app tends to feel sluggish even on a brand new Pixel 2 XL. On a budget phone like the Moto G5 Plus, the overall experience can be summed up as Thankfully, Facebook has a lightweight version of its app that works just as well while utilizing a fraction of the resources of the full-fledged app. Facebook Lite was initially designed to run on entry-level devices in emerging markets, but the app soon became available globally. Facebook Lite is optimized to work on 2G connections, and on devices with as low as 1GB of RAM. It has a tiny footprint, coming in at under 5MB and offers a similar set of features as the regular app. You'll still be able to scroll through your news feed, post status updates, comment on your friends' posts, find local events, and more. If you're an avid Facebook user and are tired of the full-fledged app bringing your phone to a crawl, you should definitely give Facebook Lite a go. Facebook also has a lightweight version of Messenger called Messenger Lite. Twitter has a lightweight client as well. And while it's not an app, you can access your timeline, send tweets, and more by heading to the mobile Twitter site. If you use Skype to communicate with your friends and family, then there's Skyply. This particular app is designed for India, and may not be available in all markets. Google also has lightweight versions of YouTube and Search available. It's good practice to make sure your phone is up to date as manufacturers tend to roll out regular updates containing bug fixes and stability improvements. Google also issues monthly security updates, which are crucial as they offer fixes for security vulnerabilities. While you may not see a huge difference in the overall user experience when installing a security patch, major platform updates and maintenance releases tend to feature a laundry list of fixes that significantly improve the performance of your phone. However, Far too few companies deliver monthly updates consistently, and more often than not your phone is likely to get one security patch once every three months. A lot of this is down to the way these updates are structured, and without going into the weeds too much, the update situation is a problem that needs fixing. That said, even when an update is available, there's a percentage of users just don't take the effort to install it. For instance, if your phone is still on Marshmallow, 29.7% of all Android devices currently are on Android 6.0, there's a high likelihood that the Nougat update is available for your device. Just head into Settings then About Phone then System Update to check. If there is an update waiting, install it. Using a live wallpaper tends to slow things to a crawl, particularly if you are using a budget phone. If you're seeing a lot of lag when switching between apps or when exiting an app to go back to the home screen, 
try switching to a static background and see if it helps. If you're looking for lightweight live wallpapers that don't consume a lot of resources, you can try out Google's Wallpapers app, as well as Minima. OnePlus and Motorola offer a user interface that's close to pure Android, and in recent years HTC and Sony have also dialed back on the customizations. Samsung has also opted for a clean and modern interface with its latest version of Samsung Experience, but its South Korean compatriot LG has a long way to go in this area. The same goes for Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, and Vivo, which see their custom skin as a differentiator. Ami and Miui in particular are heavily skinned, and more often than not you'll feel like the interface is cumbersome to navigate thanks to the overt customizations. Thankfully, you can get around this by switching to a third-party launcher. Apps like Nova Launcher and Action Launcher let you customize every facet of the user interface, giving you the ability to personalize your phone. Nova Launcher is one of the best options available, and it's on sale right now for just 99 cents, down from its usual price of $4.99. If your phone's default interface is starting to get bloated, you should consider a third-party launcher. If you notice your phone's battery draining faster than usual, it's usually down to an errant app hogging up the CPU cycles. Apps running in the background also tend to use up the battery, so it's a good bet to regularly monitor your phone's battery usage from the settings. Head into Settings then Battery to track down the misbehaving app, and hit Force Stop to remove it from running in the background. An always-on display comes in handy if you want to take a quick look at the incoming notifications without having to unlock your phone, but the feature comes at the cost of battery life. If you're seeing a drop-off in your device's battery life, turning off the ambient display mode is one way to fix the issue. Turning off unused radios will allow you to extend your phone's battery life. The difference may not amount to much, but for every little bit helps and for things you're not going to use all the time, like Bluetooth, it makes sense to switch it off when when not in use. It isn't advisable to turn off location services, as most apps need some sort of location information to run. A good idea could be to install the phone cleaner and booster application offered by S or mobile apps. The application is available on the Google Play Store in two versions a free supported by ads and a pay to enjoy an ad-free experience. Just click on the link appearing in the info card of the video to get this application and speed up your Android device. Phone Booster and Cleaner makes a complete checkup of your device and gives you all the essential info concerning the storage usage and the RAM usage. To clean and boost your phone, Phone Booster and Cleaner offers you the following features. Memory Boost Junk Files App Manager Background Processes Management Give it a try and give us your feedback and comments concerning the phone cleaner and booster application. What are your best tips to speed up your Android phone? Let us know your best tips and comments. To discover more Android-related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel.